Retro recipes. What's on the menu today, buddy? This month we've got old news. <gasps> Broke down this door. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Unboxings. Computer engineering for babies. You won't believe what this is. Retro memes. And your homebrew projects. Here she is getting her MB from the king. How cool is that? <laughs> I've always wondered what happened to it. Thank you, Devin. And we'll also have your nostalgic photos. Welcome to The Retro Show. We might do 30 more, but this is episode 34. Oh, oh hello, Chip Tippers. Hello. Welcome to the, the Retro, Retro Show. Show. And it's also 2024. It is. Which reminds me, this clip came out exactly 40 years ago. Look, I am not stupid, you know. They cannot make things like that yet. Not yet. Not for about 40 years. So, uh, yeah, watch out uh, if you've been watching the Tesla robot to development mm. kind of incredible but also slightly scary um we only had the omnibots back in 1984 at least i had one back then and now you have two now i have two three if, if you're gonna recipes. she's glitching again now this reminds me this is, <laughs> doesn't seem very relevant but this is the bottle that we feed baby fractic with it is correct it's called the boon nurse would you believe there is a very strong connection between the Omnibots and that? Do you know what it is? No. Have a look at the back of the Omnibot, see if you can see the brand name. Tommy. Tommy. Tommy? Yeah, it is uh, the company that makes the nurse. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully Baby Factory won't turn into an Omnibot. What are the odds? Tommy made some of the best childhood uh, toys that we had, or that I had in the 80s. I, so. I just need the internet to know that I chose those bottles. I, I had obviously had no idea. Both. Good, good choice. Yeah. Excellent taste. Now, this isn't sponsored, by the way. No. I should, I should add. But from them having good eyes to us, keeping an eye on the latest old news, the retro news. Ah, that's old news. Yeah. And yes, this is old news, and <laughs> Puppy Fractic's ready for it. Uh, first up, Tetris, perhaps one of the most famous retro games ever, thought to be unbeatable, has been beaten, quite literally. A 13-year-old, Willis Gibson, made it further than wow. the developers anticipated. He quite literally crashed the code. Oh, 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 oh my god! I'm gonna pass out. Look at this technique, he's using his foot. And that's a technique called rolling. I can't feel my fingers. Level 18. Stacking various blocks to make them disappear. Eventually triggering what gamers call a kill screen. Determination that we wow. thought was worthy what? of a big surprise. I can do we that. do have someone that wanted to say hello to you and surprise you. Yeah, I'm Alexey Pasakov. I'm creator of Tetris and Graz for, for you guys. Yeah, so my name is Hank Rogers. Uh, I'm the guy <laughs> in the Soviet Union in 1989. And what you've done is an amazing, amazing achievement. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Willis's father recently passed away, oh. so he says this win is for him. I thought it'd be something pretty cool to dedicate it to him. He was always very supportive. And I think he'd be proud. That's a roller coaster, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Goodness. Well, congrats. That is amazing. And the gray haired guy, that's yeah. the one Taron Egerton played, right? That's In what the I movie was, Tetris. Yeah. Yeah. I was just going to say. So, um, great movie and incredible to see the original creator. Yeah. <laughs> on a Zoom call. Moving on. That's me. Yes. Oh. Sad news. So, literally. A couple of weeks ago, 13th of January, um, very sadly, the 2G towers on the CDMA network of US cellular, <laughs> their badge falls off. Well, the towers fell off or fell quiet at least. Mm. 2G was turned off on the final uh, network in the US. Very sad. And as um, Cosmo the Nort put it, those phones will go to searching for service for the rest mm. of their lives now. 
which makes me really want to cry a little bit. You missed we were having a a sentimental moment. She's sad too. Mm -hmm. And this user shared some of his photos of the old phones just before the network was shut down. And you can see on some of them US cellular. I have that one. Uh, Sometimes it says extended network. Sometimes it says roaming. There you go, extended Mm. network, roaming. But that's when they were all live just a few minutes before the shutdown. So rest in peace, 2G. Next up, a couple of months ago, we talked about Metal Mickey, how he'd been saved. And you said, who's Metal Mickey? Who's Metal Mickey? This is Metal Mickey. He's a lot of fun. Now, the show was created and directed by Mickey Dolenz from The Monkees. Oh. So I think he's... He's a metal version of Mickey Dolenz. I used to love the monkeys. Well, now you can still listen to their music. Is he inside? No. Now, sadly, Metal Mickey's creator passed away. That's Johnny Edward there. And Johnny left Metal Mickey to a friend. And when that friend also passed away, (gasps) the executors went to the flat, (laughs) broke down this door behind a wall, is he really? I swear. Okay. Look. Uh, Oi. <laughs> <laughs> there, like. Oh my god. Look at this. I've never been in this room. Metal Mickey. Amazing. Amazing indeed. And he was taken directly to the offices of the Sun newspaper. Interesting. Um, and uh, that's where he now lives. So, on the Sun. You know, on the Sun. <laughs> He's made of metal. And as Baby Fact, he suddenly magically joins us here, featuring the Boone Nursh bottle made by Tomy, as mentioned. Not sponsored, but we do own a lot of these. Yes. As the guzzle monster guzzles away, we will say that is it for old news. That was old news. Yeah. But next up, I think it's time to look at some retro memes in... I see what you meme. We'll see what he memes. First up, you love Phil Collins, right? I do. Ready for the drum fill? Yes, I love these. <laughs> we might have to bleep that. Um, next up. Oh. oh. Uh, this is just the most bizarre combination of act. Have you seen this? I have. What even is this dance? She's never That's, um, isn't that an arquette? <laughs> she looks like an arquette. Yeah, I think it is. I remember. They probably thought it looked really cool back then, but I thought, how could we make it look even better? Oh, no. So with the tiniest, simplest edit, oh. I just made this. <laughs> There you go. Now, they really are maniacs on the floor. I, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Next up. Now, Daddy did, do you remember Daddy did this video mm-hmm. recently? Uh, for beginners, learning to solder SMD with me. And um, a lot of you guys loved it. A lot of people obviously had their own views about how they preferred to solder. Oh, but we you shouldn't do it like that. Yeah, <laughs> you don't want to do it like that. You want to do it like this. But many of you noticed my take on this famous meme. Uh, there's me superimposed into that image. That's a famous Getty Images image. Yes. That they released with full seriousness. But <laughs> Andrew Hutchings sent me this picture of his favorite sweater. Oh, God, that's gross. Would you like to read it? If it smells like chicken, you're holding it wrong. <laughs> that's his tribute to the video. And also, Mark Perry's cat uh, found the soldering fascinating, as you can see in watching. Yeah. The uh, flow there. Um, RTD2 not so interested. But hey, he's a droid. <laughs> okay, next up. But in that video, by the way, I was soldering a Ghostbusters cartridge. Ghostbusters! Which is uh, displayed there on my childhood Commodore 64. Yes, it is. Which reminded a few people of this meme, which, funnily enough, I already had ready to show you guys. He's loading something. <laughs> he's waiting. He's getting uh, tired. And he falls asleep. Ghostbusters! 
And of course, um, we revealed in that video who did the voice to Ghostbusters. So check it out if you missed it. Mm -hmm. Next up. You love this one. <laughs> My favorite retro music inspired meme. <laughs> it's got the Ghostbusters laugh. And you can see yes. we, we don't just throw this show together, but they tried the same thing on Ed Sheeran. He took it a little better than, uh, than that guy. Well, they made a nice remix, at least. Yeah. Love it. We should get you an earpiece, shouldn't we? <laughs> Next up. It's very sad, and it's not the only British motoring institution that's coming to an end. <laughs> We are. This is not just the last of the series. Yes. Well, this is the last one. It is. It is. You know and it's, no. it's sad, but we have been doing it together for 17 yeah. years. Yeah. Nevertheless, we do feel the time has come to move on. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, they're, oh, wow. they're filming. It's not been shown yet, but they filmed the last Grand Tour, uh, which means the last time those three will be doing a motoring show. For now. The rumour is that they are going to join him on Clarkson's farm. Gotcha. Can you imagine the three of them operating the, the Lamborghini or a Ferrari tractor? I anyway. it's Lambo. Yeah, it's the Lambo. <laughs> so at least that will be fun. But Jeremy's been very worried about his health. Um, so I think he's, that's why he's taken a bit of a step back. But you might remember I did the audio description for the French episode of the Did Grand it. Tour. Speaking of which, eagle-eared viewers who've watched Bluey with the audio description on might have noticed this. This episode of Bluey is called Parcel Magic. The kids pass the parcel from one to the next. Okay, and stop! Bingo gets it. If their voice sounds familiar, it is, of course, oh, this is Lady Fractic. Wrong. The package starts moving around the circle again. The package stops with pom-pom. Pom-pom. <laughs> uh, which made it very funny when somebody sent me this. I've been keeping my cool lately, but I have not felt rage like I just did. I've we've been trying to cook dinner, and so we put on Bluey. And the, for some reason, the description of the scene, like the audio description, was on, which we've never used. And I didn't know how to turn it off, and we had to look it up online. And we kept thinking it had stopped, and we'd walk away, and then we'd hear, Bluey passes the puzzle to Bluey. <laughs> I, oh my gosh, I could not turn it off and I screamed. My son not only heard audio descriptions of the episode, but heard some choice words from my husband and I. <laughs> You're really upset then. Really you did. ruined their day. My apologies, bread and butter cup. Um, <laughs> that, is that what I said? Louis passes the parcels to blip, blip, blip. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. Anyway, sorry about that. Next up, Tesla what? added custom lock sounds. So you can download a lock sound and put it on the uh, USB stick, which made this viewer decide to go and get this. Let's hear what, let's hear what it is. Hear what it is. Windows 95 shut down. I oh. kept expecting that bump. <laughs> yeah. Next up. No. You would not believe your eyes if 10 million fireflies Lit up the world as I fell asleep. I hate it. <laughs> I love it. Cause they fill the open air and leave teardrops everywhere. I can see for. I'd like to make myself believe. <laughs> It's hard to say that I'd rather stay awake when I'm asleep Because everything is never as it seems It's hard to say that I'd rather stay awake when I'm asleep Because my dreams are bursting at the seams Oops, I like it. From there I ruined it. Classic. I want to go down the history, I think. Mm. You don't like it still? No, okay. I don't like that. 
Well, no, luckily for you, that is the end of I See oh, What You Mean. We saw what he meant. Yeah. But it's time to do a bit of unboxing, which means I might be doing more work than usual. Ready for some fun boxing? I'm ready. Thank you. And first up, a message from, well, you know who it is. Hi, I'm Honey Fractor from Game Closet. This is my friend, Bonnie. And we like to tell about you, PCB Way. Or you could give PCBs for five dollars. How do you, Perry Fractic? Thanks, Harley Fractic. And that means that's our cue to clear the decks. Mm -hmm. So uh, can you reach, can your laser beams reach from there? Oh, absolutely. And maybe the baby's laser beams as well. Ready? Ready? <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Scary. <laughs> First up, as baby farts, it is time for your farts. Sorry, I mean your faxes. And um, I've honestly got too many here. I didn't think this through, but we'll just pull a few out and um, see how we do. This first one, well, it was Christmas, and Michael Bean mm. sent, sent this from his Commodore 64 using part of the Geos suite, mm. Geofax. He said... Merry Christmas 2023 and a happy retro New Year 2024. Happy New Year to all of you as well. I included Tesla in the uh, greetings from the Mason Bean family, Michael, Lacey, River, Luna and Moxie. Lovely names. We should we're going to have to change your name. Oh. Baby Fractic doesn't have the same ring to it. Moxie Fractic. Yeah. Uh, he created it using a stock bread bin Commodore 64, a modem, an interface cartridge and a Zoom fax modem. Absolutely incredible. I didn't think I'd get the facts from a C64. No, I didn't either. I didn't actually even know that was an option. Cheers, Michael. Put that over there. And now another one. Can you just at least help? No, no help at all. Um, someone's printed out a comment they sent me. This is from Andy Johnson. I'm surprised you with this. My 71 year old mum just came in while I was watching this video and said, who's she? Talking about you. Oh. She's going to be beautiful forever. Oh. So I said, never mind that, listen to his voice. <laughs> and now she's gushing over Perry Fractic's dulcet tones and saying how, quote, dishy he is. Oh. Thanks, uh, Mum, Mama Johnson. Yes, thank for you. For your lovely words. Ah, Mother Johnson. You're female, she might be talking about you, actually. Could have. You'll be beautiful forever. How'd you do it? Even when you go grey. Because you're already a bit grey, because you're born grey. Me, 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 me. Anyway, maybe do one more? Yeah. A very long letter here from Lima Ricky, brackets Mark, and he says, the year was 2021 and our first baby was on the way. Since I was going to take leave from work, I applied for NJ's Family Leave Act, New Jersey. They have a very boring dated website and sign up was fairly straightforward until I noticed an error in my application. Don't. The website only lets you fill in the form. Don't. And submit it once. So I called them up, figuring it should be easy to fix. So they said, sure, no problem. Just fax it over. <laughs> he couldn't believe it. How many people have a fax machine these days? He ended up purchasing eFax, uh, and he actually sent this from a Dell laptop from 2008 running Windows 7 with a built-in modem and a VoIP adapter. Wow. Good job, Mark. The Limericky. We'll do just one more, one more. This is, can we just talk about the image quality? It's incredible. Uh, the Samsung fax machine supports super fine mode mm. and looking super fine here is eugene baxter greetings from sydney australia good eye eugene cheers for the facts you ripper and but not to, he wasn't jack the ripper just to avoid any confusion you hold the camera first up it looks like we've got something from fan home oh yes this is from fan home once again I thought she was holding it. It looks <laughs> hilarious from this angle. <laughs> Van Home are dedicated to developing unique collections and build-up models from much-loved brands. And from the 1982 film, <laughs> E.T. <laughs> this is going to be the E.T. build-up model. Now, it again is over half a meter tall. That's two feet. That's as tall as her. Wow. We just do an example then. So just to demonstrate the height of this, it will be like this. But not just that, it comes with a light up finger. Whoa. Like ET. Ouch, Elliot. 
And this is some of the bits we're getting with part one of the delivery. Um, has a light up belly. Me too. He has a retract. Thank you. He has a retractable and extendable neck. Mm -hmm. Remote control. How cool is this? Thing? No, this is amazing. Like I can't wait to see it. Yeah. And you also get things like a binder, a mug, um, t-shirts. Reese's pieces. Damn, but that's a good idea, actually. And it got me feeling all nostalgic knowing oh. this was here. This is my actual childhood ET LP. Remember what LP stands for? Long play. Long play. And I, this music is some of the most beautiful John Williams in existence. That's your original? That's my, my one from my bedroom. I didn't realize they were printing on them. Oh, at, yeah. At you know, in the Stone Age. <laughs> you might see a different guest presenter next month. <laughs> 1982, the Stone Age indeed. It also has sound effects and voices from the movie that E.T. E will definitely say. And, yet. <laughs> and it was developed by the Carlo Ramboldi Foundation. Now, Mr. Ramboldi designed the original E.T. <laughs> so subscribe now at fanhome.com or you'll see our link in the description if you want to phone home that way. Thank you, Fan Home. It's a Fan Home. It's pretty good. We have very different ideas of what ET sounds like. Um, Fan Home, if you haven't thought of that, phone home, Fan Home, you're welcome. Next up, this is from Justin, and he sent it just in time because I had just done the video talking about rebuilding my Commodore 64 bedroom setup with the correct desk. Mm. And I talked about, in my diary, it said I went to a computer show, a Commodore show, and the year was 1986. Oh. And Justin said, hey, I've got the brochure from that. Oh my gosh. That's incredible. We think it's the same show. It was the seventh official Commodore computer show. I have a photo, which I'll actually show you right now, of this exact keyboard laying on my bed in, my, in that exact bedroom. So actually, when I think about it, the only Commodore 64 peripheral that I, I have any kind of photo of. So I might have bought that at this show and it ended up in a, in a photo, as I am now. There is Sam Fox. You know her? No. Oh, famous Sun Page 3 model. Ah. There's yeah. a photo of me reading. In Page 3? Sun. We were at a bar in huh. in London. I'm drinking a Guinness and looking at Page 3. If we can find that, we'll show you yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, here it is. I did go through to see if there's any photos of me, but then of course it occurred to me this was produced before the show came out. But yeah, there's the, the music expansion system for the Commodore 64. Thank you so much, Justin. That is such a kind donation. And I am gonna actually go and put it on the bedroom desk right now. That's a nice shirt you've got there. Thank you. In honor of the moon, contacting the moon from a Commodore Amiga that you saw last week. As Baby Factor continues filming, one final unboxing. Do you know what this could be? I have no idea. It's actually a gift for Baby Factor. Okay. Let, let me swap with you. Oh, oh, oh. I get to sit back and watch the, the mania. Right here, don't worry. Here you go. She loves paper. Uh, computer engineering for babies. Oh. <laughs> Isn't that cool? That's incredible. Oh, this is kind of like the very hungry caterpillar. That's exactly what I was thinking. We read that to her most nice, the hungry caterpillar. Don't we? You like that one? I do. Whoa. Each one is like. Oh, you have to do them. To okay, I see. So, so it's actually going to teach us how I, to circuit yeah. back as well. So this is or, and this one was and, so you have to do both of them. And that's called a gate. So it's a type of logic gate. You can have an and gate, an or gate, or an and xor gate. Set, reset. There you go. And we've got another gift coming next month for Baby Fractic. We do? Yeah, it's going to be a surprise again. Okay. Okay. We're going to read that to her tonight. But as for you guys, we're going to read you some of the homebrews that have been sent into the channel this month, coming up right now. Mm. Oh, didn't win that one. Oh no. Tough luck. 
Well, first up, Lisa Ventura, MBE, and Russell Ventura have written to us. They are very valued patrons of the channel. And you might be thinking, MBE? I was. As in, member of the Order of the British Empire? Yeah. Well, yes, indeed. Here she is, getting her MBE in December from the King. Charles. King Charles, indeed. Fantastic. And she got that for her services to cybersecurity and to diversity and inclusion. I love that. Yeah. So our sincere congratulations, Lisa. That is yeah. awesome. Uh, you're obviously an amazing woman. <laughs> and we can now say we personally know an MBE. We do. But even more amazing is Lisa wrote to us and said this. For a while now, we've been happy to, to not draw attention to our retro room, but after watching the video of your TARDIS door, we got inspired to create our own, our own version of the entrance to our retro room. And here are the results. Big fan. Yeah. Uh, we're so happy with our TARDIS tour and oh. this retro room. And we can't thank you all enough for providing the inspiration to us for this. How cool is that? They had the best computer in the world there, the Amstrad PCW. They did. They had a Commodore Corner there. Mm -hmm. And this was the Texas Instruments that we, I think we were talking about recently. Yeah. And they've even featured us on their website, uh, which is Vintage and Retro Computing Project. We'll put the link in the description so you can check out their site and all their stuff. Very cool. We would like to award Lisa and Russell an MFE with uh, one of these very special badges of our own. Uh, MFE, of course, means that they are now members of the Order of the Fractic Empire. She's pooping. <laughs> Sealed with a poop. Well, if you want to get a picture of that while it's happening, you could use this. Today I'm toying with a Polaroid camera made of Lego bricks. It's literally a Lego fan dream come true. A grad student named Mark came up with the idea, and now Lego will sell it around the world. Want to see how close it is to the original 1977 camera? I've got one right here. It's almost exactly the same size, wow. weight, and Lego nailed so many of the angles. Plus, Lego built a mechanism inside so the shutter button can eject this photo like the real McCoy. You pop one into the film bay, just like the original, which locks a rubber band loaded lever into place till you're ready to shoot. The set comes with a brick built box of film and three photo cards representing the Lego house, Polaroid's founder, and the fan designer's sister Mia having a treat in the show of France. You'll have to build your own flash and figure out your own strap, but I love that the rainbow stripe isn't a sticker, it's made of bricks. It's a pretty cool set for 80 bucks, if it's tad pricing. I don't think that's pricey at all for that. You saw the flash there. That's the flash I told you about that I used to have. Little bulbs. Where the, you get to use each bulb once and then it's blown forever. So we didn't, back in the Stone Age, we didn't have the technology for reusable flashes. And last up, yeah, you might remember my video about the Cougar S replica that I created. And here's Jeremy again. Well, if you've got any common sense at all, you'll take the Ford. And that's exactly what we did. We took a Ford from this to this. Look at that. Wow. Daddy's car. See Daddy's car. Yeah. So I actually sold that in 2009, which uh, artistic license I didn't mention in the video when I moved to America. And I've always wondered what happened to it. Terrifying. I, you know, I figured it was probably on a scrap pile long ago. It's, it's a 23 year old car now, mm. but this very kind user, Martin Elliott, sorry, cut it, let you his head off. Martin Elliott found it on Facebook Marketplace for sale. I bought it. Unfortunately, it's not in great condition, as you can see from some of those pictures. So in steps to save the day, Kyle from Skyrocket Automotive. Now they specialize in restoring and working on the engines of 1980s classic cars, which not many people do. It's, it's, we couldn't find anyone to touch the car. Here's some of the stuff Kyle's been working on. Mm. Classic Audi and a Volkswagen there. That classic 80s box shape. Yeah. And this is a Corvette Stingray. There it is, making a similar sound to the Cougar. Um, Kyle and Skyrock also are based in Oxford. So if you've got a retro car that you need some work done to, I can't recommend them enough because he's taking on the Cougar. Obviously, I'm going to pay him for his time, <laughs> but he's going to be our knight in shining armor. 
He said he watched Retro Recipes last year when he was having struggling really setting up the company and going through a bit of a hard time. And uh, he very kindly said the channel helped him. Mm. So he wanted to help us in return. That's amazing. Yeah, incredible. So the hope is we'll document us flying back to England, being reunited with the car. And uh, the story will continue from there. So I've got too many cars, really. You do. I probably should sell one or two of them. Uh, more on that in an upcoming video. But that is it for home brews. Mm. She's made her own little home brew, so we're going to go and change that. And then we'll be back with some delicious, well, slightly put off now, but would you like a delicious bowl of nostalgia flakes? Mmm. Here it is. Well, as Baby Frantic is Bactic, watching the show uh, over our shoulder, we'll get on with another visit to... <laughs> She's had our cold, if you didn't realise. Another visit to... The Gallery. That. You can watch it on here. First up, who's this? Uh, Chris Winter. In a very snazzy sweater. Future so bright even at night, writer. <laughs> a sun visor explains that. This is from Addy Fractic. His favorite thing to watch, that's Daddy, is Perry Fractic. <laughs> he likes to go shops. <laughs> Side note. Uh, this is from Piero Sierra, almost rhymes. And this was his school project. Based on this photo. Based on that. Yeah, that's his original Commodore Amiga. Beautiful. Hang on a minute. Atari Fuzz, I'm not entirely sure that's uh, real, but I think that is the genuine recreation, at least yeah. done on Microsoft Paint or similar. And this chappy is Mark McGarry. What's he got there? A 128, a 1571, a 1080, a 180, and... A 360. Very good. Nostalgia is Priceless by Michael Anthony Hayes. He's repurchasing his childhood Lego. Lego. Oh, that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and here is Tim Barker's doggy, also a Barker. Uh, he should get together with that cat and they can watch soldiering together. They could. Probably not a good idea. They'll soldier on. <laughs> or as you said in America. So solder. Solder on. <laughs> sod off. Sod off and solder on. All right. And now for the final moment in the show. Here from Dulcimer Gumbo, Dia Diduction mm -hmm. Super Mario 64. And last month, we looked at 80s videos, uh, home movies of Christmas unwrappings. Yes. This month, I thought we'd look at some more modern ones. <laughs> POV, you're a low-income mummy working two jobs and barely make it, but you managed to make his biggest Christmas wish come true. Oh. <gasps> and he sees his mum crying. Sensitive sweet boy. Yeah, what a sweetie. Too sweet. Oh, I can't. Oh. Watch my husband be the father he never had. What, what is it? It's like, it's like Opie. It's like Game Boy. I think he said it was his original. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> what a thing to say, this is my best life ever. <sighs> my brother, 37, has wanted this toy since he was yeah. seven. He never got it. He's never let my mum forget about it. So I found it. <laughs> sweet stuff i feel like it's so different now that we're parents like it really does hit yeah differently i'll definitely get her a game boy instead of an iphone for example well no, she can no have doubt. my game boy color from my sewing machine and i'll uh, replace the screen with a better quality one that, that they make these days oh, good. clearer display yeah 
But that was the last of our little gifts to you this month for you to unwrap. We would love for you guys to share this show if you find it enjoyable so we can get more people to join the fun and we can share this good stuff. Either way, we just want to thank each and every one of you sincerely for being such a gift to us. As always, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe and support below and cheerio. cheerio. <laughs> you waiting to? One man can make a difference, Perry. Or one woman. Or dog. The Fractics. Lone curators in a vintage world. The world of retro recipes.